Hi, welcome to Balance Your Life. I'm Debbie Peterson, founder of The Wellness Gala. About 16 years ago, I was introduced to holistic modalities, which were desperately needed in my family at the time. The results changed my life. My mission then became to educate the public about these holistic modalities and how they can work in conjunction with traditional medicine. I started Wellness Gala events nationally because I really wanted to share what I had learned with as many people as possible. When the pandemic hit, stress and anxiety had never been higher. We could no longer have our events to spread the word about these options at a time when people really needed them the most. So my team and I developed a TV show. Each week, we'll be bringing you experts in the fields of holistic modalities, integrative medicine, healthy food, beauty, and wellness. So join me along with my team, Barb and Dina, and celebrity guest host, Conchetta Bertoldi, a New York Times bestselling author and renowned medium. Hope you enjoy watching season three of Balance Your Life. Hi everyone, we're here today at I Am Fitness actually with Laura Medley. Hi Laura. Hi. Thanks for being here with us. And thank you for having me. Yeah, and we know you work out of here with Dina. She but... does, but she does a tremendous um, amount of other modalities. Right. She's a practitioner in, versed in, in different modalities. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit, what modalities do you do? Well, I do Reiki. Mm -hmm. um, I also do um, essential oils. I okay. incorporate that into my yoga practice because oh, it raises nice. our vibration. Um, I also do um, private sessions with the yoga, mm -hmm. um, moon ceremonies with crystal beds. So, um, oh, all right. Tell us a little bit about bowls. that. What's that? Well, they um, the crystal bowls they raise our vibration. Some people oh, experience nice. vibration okay. in their I body. <laughs> so, who to, and it's self care. It's self care and it's self love. Right. I also do guided meditation. Very nice. And also with that. Um, um, there's um, something that we do. We're starting forest bathing, which is a meditative walk in the forest woods. Forest bathing. Ooh. Forest bathing. Okay. So what that is, is it's a quiet walk. It's a mile, but it's about the journey. It's not nice. about the destination. So we, are, we, okay. we shut off our senses, like we don't talk, and then we'll close our eyes, we'll do another oil. It's very, very relaxing. You do mm. EFT also, don't yes. you? Yes. Oh, I love EFT. I do too. Yes, yes. tell everybody what powerful. it is though, in case you know people don't know. Well, emotional freedom technique is tapping on the meridians so what that does is it moves chi it moves energy uh -huh, so it's energy mer meridians tapping right. on your energy meridians why don't we do a little demo of yes that? oh please. okay yeah that'd be great I'd sure. like to do, yeah so we would say a positive affirmation you know we could release something when right. we um, are tapping okay so and release what no longer serves us so what is something Perfect. that you would like to release maybe some stress okay that's great okay. so <laughs> okay so we store it here okay okay and tap Two fingers, would you use in three? Um, three fingers. Okay, nice. Okay. So um, start by saying, I am really stressed out. I am really, really stressed, stressed out. out. I want to get rid of this stress in my life. I want to get rid of this stress, stress in my life. I need to get rid of this stress in my life. I need, I need to, to get, get rid, rid of this stress, stress in my life. I want to be calm and relaxed. I want to be calm and relaxed. Now we move here. Okay. I am calm and I'm relaxed. I am calm and I am relaxed. I am at peace. I am at peace. Above the eyebrows. I am completely stress free. Right. I am completely stress free. Under, under the mm -hmm. nose. I release stress in my body. I release stress, stress in my body. body. I'm letting go. Chin. I'm letting Let go. go. I am calm and peaceful. I am calm I'm and peaceful. peaceful. Under the arm. I am completely relaxed and stress-free. I'm completely, completely relaxed and stress-free. Top of the head. I am releasing what no longer serves me. I'm releasing, releasing what no, no longer, longer serves, serves me. And then you do a sequence of that, and then you okay. can feel the vibe. Can you feel the vibration in your body? It does feel calming. Does. I don't know what it, that. Yeah. So you do it. You do that for. You do it for 15, 20 minutes. And okay. You just keep, and you just keep going through the mm -hmm. cycle. Okay. Yeah. And then you you just release what no longer serves you. That's nice. Okay. And you can do it with anything. Yes. Okay. Um, I also do breathing techniques. So mm -hmm. by when we breathe in, let's say five and breathe out longer, like eight breaths, eight breaths. Mm -hmm. um, when we um, do this, it lowers the sympathetic nervous system. So it calms that fight flight, that cortisone levels in our body. Oh, I Just need like that. essential oil, <laughs> lemon. Yeah, right, right. Yes, Let's, absolutely. Yeah, right. Okay. Le okay. Lemon absolutely. can uh, release a stress in the body up to 24% lower in the cortisone levels. And you do that wow. in yoga class. I do that in the okay. yoga yeah. class. You incorporate um, it. With that, with the meditation. Mm -hmm. And do you do full sessions of I do um, full the breath work? Yes, full okay. sessions of breath wow. work. 
um, okay. three part breaths, ujjayi breath. There's so many. There's so many different wow. breaths. Wow. Okay. And, and it's very calming. And we always have our breath with us. Right. So when we have our breath <laughs> with us, let's hope so. Yeah. <laughs> so when we have our breath with us, we can calm ourselves down right away. Right. Bringing ourselves back in our body, being present. How we lower our sympathetic nervous system and calm our body. We put in our left hand a few drops. Okay. okay. Left is for receiving. Great. That's the feminine side. Yes. Right side is the giving side. That's our male side. Okay. And then we take the oil and we rub our palms together to activate. Hmm. And we do a scent I test. This. I love this scent. So to get used okay. to the oil, you could okay. do a lotus flower mm -hmm. and then bring it closer, mm -hmm. which breaks the blood-brain barrier. Which mm. They have done um, videos of different parts of the brain, so breathing in certain oils will calm the sympathetic nervous system, okay. also goes to the frontal lobe. Mm. So, um, for instance, peppermint. Pe peppermint wakes you up. Right. So you'll see different lights uh, flare off it with the brain image while they're breathing oils, and it shows where it goes in the brain. It's actually very, yeah, that's very, very fascinating. Yeah, that's I like fantastic. It. I'm a science that's nerd. Fantastic. I love science. Oh, okay, that's great. And no, you bring and all of these different modalities into your yoga classes. Yes, I've I do. Seen you, yeah, you're pulling the breathing, and you're pulling in the essential oils, and you're doing different things. So it's a really a great yeah. healing experience. So, Laura, how can people find out more about you? Um, well, the best way to reach me is through my email. Okay, great. Oh, and Laura made an offer, don't forget this, that anyone who emails her and mentions Balance Your Life okay. will receive a half hour complimentary health assessment. Isn't yes. that right? Yes. Oh, fantastic. That's awesome. Thanks so, for doing that. So yeah. everybody be sure to email Laura as soon as you can and get in there and get your health assessment and try out her wonderful modalities that she offers. And we'll be right back. Hi everybody, we're here with Barb and looks like she's doing something with chickpeas today. I yeah. am, I'm doing something with chickpeas today. We're <laughs> gonna be, I'm gonna be showing you how to make roasted chickpeas. Mm. A lot of you may have already heard of them. Have you ever yeah, heard of them? Look yeah, these look great. Well, I've seen them in the stores, yep. Absolutely. Yeah, they're super easy to make and they yeah. are so, so good for you. It's a really right. great snack alternative if you're trying to be healthy, watch your weight. Right. Yada, 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 all that good stuff. <laughs> yes. Okay. And, and we should say, we call them chickpeas because we're from New Jersey. They're actually garbanzo beans. Right. But since this is airing right. in New York. They're actually area, garbanzo yeah. beans. Yeah. Right. But well, it says as chickpeas it does. too. It does. It has both of them on the label. Right. Okay. So for this, what you're going to need is chickpeas. I use canned. You can use fresh if you soak them and make them fresh yourself. What you want to do is dry them off afterwards and then pick mm -hmm. out any of those little shells. I don't have any here. Oh, here's one that I can show you. You know, if they, the little skins fall off. You want to make sure you pick those off mm -hmm. and you want to dry it in between sheets of paper towel and just make sure that they're nice and dry so okay. that your oil and spices stick to it. So basically, bowl of chickpeas. <laughs> You're going to want to take a little olive oil. I actually use light olive oil instead of EVOO because mm -hmm. it's just lighter tasting to me. It doesn't right. overpower it. So you're just going to drizzle a little bit over. No exact amount, however, like about you know, a tablespoon yeah, maybe, about yeah. a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Mix that in. And then you're also going to want to put a little salt on there. No. Okay. Not much, but a little. You're going to wait and do your spices after you have roasted them. That's key because otherwise mm. they can burn. So after you've salted these and you've mixed them around a little bit, you're going to put them on a baking sheet and cook them at 425 for about 20 to 30 minutes. The key is to make sure they're crispy. After you've done that, you can add literally any spice you want. I have some samples right here. These I put some Indian spices on. I've got cumin. I've got ginger. Um, I think I may put a little curry in this. You'll have to taste it and tell me if I did. Mm. Aren't they yeah. good though? Mm -hmm. They're delicious. They're really and you mm -hmm. hear the crunch? <laughs> and then these are just sea salt. Just sea salt. Mm. Nothing else. I just left them plain because, you know, if you have kids, kids don't always like yeah, spicy right. foods. Mm. So you can literally put really anything. So if you want to try to make some sweet ones at home, do it and let us know how it comes out. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Hi, I'm Joan from Modern Acupuncture in Florham Park. Do you have allergies, stress, pain, or just want to feel better? If so, acupuncture, the ancient Eastern medicine, might be your answer. Acupuncture treats those issues and helps your body heal itself. Visit today for our $59 introductory special, which includes your first treatment. Feel amazing, be amazing. Modern Acupuncture in Florham Park. We just might be the answer to your newfound health and happiness. Modern Acupuncture in Florham Park, next to Trader Joe's.
Hi, we're here with Kathy Sheldon of Prasada In Home Care today. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Deb. How are you? Good, thanks. Okay. Thanks for being here. Hi, Thank Kathy. you. Hi, Hi. Dina, Barb. <laughs> So Kathy, tell us what you do and what Prasada in Home is. So Prasada in Home is primarily a recruiting and staffing agency where we provide in-home services for children with mental health and behavioral challenges in children with autism. And we also have a rehabilitation program for young adults and a teen program as well at our center in Mount Arlington, New Jersey. That's awesome. awesome. So needed. So you work with the entire family. Absolutely. Uh, inside the homes when we're working with children and we have our therapists in and our behavioral assistants in, we definitely want to work with the entire family. It's so important to make sure that the parents are on board and understand what their children are going through. Mm -hmm. And is this something that is ongoing? Like when you work with the family, what is the protocol? How long do you stay with the family? So our children are referred to us through what are called care management organizations through the Children's System of Care, which is a statewide system yes. of care that's been around for 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. So typically the idea is for the children to come in and to be short term, six months. Unfortunately, these kids, when they come in and the families come in, they're really in crisis and need stabilization. Mm -hmm. So the idea is for a therapist to get in. So we work with the family short term, Unfortunately, sometimes it's going to take a little bit longer depending on what is going on for the child and the family at that time. So sometimes we're in with the families one year, even up to two years. So does the family reach out to you and then there is an assessment or how does it how does it yeah. start? Like, what's the process yes. when the kids yeah. basically come on and, and yeah. you know, it really help. depends. Many of our families call it's called perform care, there are a system administrator within the children's system of care. So if there's a crisis going on in the family at that moment, they will call for what's called mobile response and stabilization. Mm -hmm. So that's short term case management and they may be involved with that type of case management and they're the ones who refer to us as does care management organizations. Again, we're all underneath the children's system of care. So those referrals typically come from the children's system of care and care management organizations or mobile response and stabilization. We also on occasions get you know referrals through the courts or through the school systems and sometimes through DCP. So it is referral based only? Typically it's referral based only. We do have families on occasion reach out to us as well and we mm -hmm. can work with them also. Okay, hmm. that's good. Do they have the same therapist for the whole family or would the child have a different therapist? You say the whole family is involved. Is It really is depends on what the need is and really mm -hmm. the interactions of the family and what's going on at the time. For some families, it's really important for that child to have their own individual okay, counselor. Right. Right. Other so times, tailored to what their needs exactly, are. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Otherwise, sometimes it's more important to have one family therapist to work with the entire family, especially if you have a smaller child where, right. where, where yeah. there needs to be much more parent training. Right. And the parents really need to understand how to manage the child's behaviors. I mean, one mm -hmm. of the things I always say is that the solution to what's going on for the child really lies in the parents. Right. Absolutely. You cannot just fix a kid. You right. have have to well, really to fix. Mm -hmm. Yes, it goal. always, yeah. yes, I've do, experienced do, that firsthand. Do, do, so, we really mm -hmm. have to have everybody on board. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, because it gives that foundation will keep things running and, and you won't yeah. be reverting back. Mm -hmm. Right, get better results. Mm -hmm. right. So, so when, when a child comes to you, typically is it more front loaded where after you assess what's happening, they see the therapist more frequently than they do and then as you, you know, you get to the point where oh, we, we found success mm -hmm. and the protocol that we're gonna give the family and they're gonna continue, does that lessen the amount of times? So one of the things when a child comes to us through a care management organization is it's built around a child family team. So that is where the needs are really assessed and the goals are And And so assessed. if there's a diagnosis, it would be given to you prior to you? Oftentimes the diagnosis is given prior. We do have our therapists go in and sometimes diagnose the children as well. But what happens is every 90 days, the team gets back together and that includes the child, any other system supports that could be a personnel from the school, uh, right. A, right, the yeah. friend of a child, uh, close siblings, or aunts, uncles, who's ever really important part of the child's life. Mm -hmm. And it's there It's actually determine how long that therapist will remain in place and how many hours that therapist will be there. Because this is intensive, you often think of therapy or an outpatient provider, you, you may go once a week or a child may go every other week. Right. With these type of services, a therapist is in typically two hours a week, if not more, mm -hmm. until the family 
to stabilize along with some of the other services. And you work with children of what ages? We work with children from 5 to 21 and then we do have the rehabilitation program which is for our young adults with disabilities as oh, well. That's great. Good. Yeah. Let's talk about your therapist because it sounds like there has to be a diversified group. Yes, yes. Our therapists, they really need to be passionate and dedicated. They yeah. do have diverse backgrounds. They come from different different lifestyles. They've had different backgrounds as well. Uh, some of them are expertise in trauma or cognitive behavioral therapy or mm -hmm. dialectic behavioral therapies. So uh, many of them take an eclectic approach. Some um, like to do art therapy with the kids as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So how many therapists work for you? Right now I have 16. That's true. Wow. Wow. That's and we, yeah. we are always hiring. Unfortunately, there is such a need right now right. in the state of New Jersey, and there is wow. actually a shortage of therapists. I'm sure uh, in light of what's happening in our current environment and what kids are experiencing, um, I work with children, as you know, mm -hmm. and even kids who were outgoing and comfortable in life before are having challenges, having challenges yeah. acclimating, having challenges expecting things that they're promised to come to fruition, mm -hmm. communicating, right? Um, their schedules are all over the place, so kids in need are probably, right now, you guys are probably feeling it more than ever. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's certainly a crisis right now in America with our children and our adolescents. Our referrals have gone up tenfold since last year, and wow. they continue, wow. and it is. It's it's. It's a difficult place to be in right now when we are in such a need, and yet it's so difficult to find the providers right now, mm -hmm. whether that's on an outpatient basis or going through the system of care, mm -hmm. such as us. How many um, kids are you working with? How many patients do you guys Probably have? Probably in total, um, well, we always call them kids. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, right now, I believe we have about 70 children who are wow. getting our in-home wow. services, that's and then we have another 50 who are getting respite services because we provide respite services And, as and well. you guys were carrying on straight through 2020 and 2021, is that correct? We made a shift mm -hmm. during our lockdowns mm -hmm. to hybrid. Well, actually, we originally went and did just telehealth. Okay. Then we went to more of a hybrid model, mm -hmm. which we continue to do, although mm -hmm. The idea of, of this model is to be in the home. The whole mm -hmm. idea is to wrap services around the, the child. It comes from the wraparound model from Milwaukee. So we really make sure that the families understand the work really needs to be done in the home. That's where the stabilization, stabilization occurs. That's where we see the best outcomes. Right. Now, if a family yeah. asks to do it virtually, we will do it virtually as well. Right. Well, thank you for being here today. Thanks for sharing all this great info with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Right. Right. And how can people it's find great. out more about you? Yes, they can go to prasadainhome.com. And we'll be right back. Hi everybody, so this week we're doing a fresh face out of the door in five minutes or less. So most of us don't have the time to do an entire face full of makeup, but we'd like to get out the door still looking fresh and beautiful. So Natasha's going to help me here, she's gonna be my model, and I'm gonna show you how to get out of the house in five minutes or less. You can start with BB cream. So here we have some Poofy Organics Glam Cosmetics. So just put it right in your hand and then you could apply to the face. What's great about BB cream is that it's forgiving, so it's not like a foundation where you have to be perfect. Next is concealer. So we're just going to dab it on our finger and just dab it. I'm using my fourth finger here. And what this will do is it helps with the dark circles under the eyes and it helps to brighten the skin tone. Now we will fill in her eyebrows. So you can get an eyebrow spoolie and just comb them up. As we age, we start to lose a little bit of our eyebrow, especially the outer area here. Then we will apply mascara, a little blush, give some color in those cheeks, and you just put it right on the cheekbones. And last but not least, you can either put tinted lip balm, which is what I will be using on Natasha, or a light lip gloss. Out of the door in five minutes or less. It's time to unwind at Harmony Within Massage Therapy, located in Westwood, New Jersey. Relieve your headaches, stress, and pain with one of our many massage, skin care, and acupuncture services. 
our professional staff are committed to improving your wellness in a calming atmosphere. Treat yourself to a customized session today at Harmony Within Massage Therapy. And use promo code wellness for 15% off your next visit. Hi, we're here today with Teresa D'Angelo. Hi, Teresa. Hello. Hi, Teresa. Thanks for being Hi. here. Yeah, and Teresa is the owner, founder of Live, Love, Move. And she does some fabulous movements. And actually, I'm going to let her talk about them, but I've experienced them and they're absolutely amazing. So oh, thank you so much, Deb. Yeah. And it's really beautiful to be here with you all. Thank you. And Live, Love, Move is seriously about, you know, living, loving your body and being able to move no matter what. And the reason I started this is because I myself went through years of severe chronic illness. Mm -hmm. And my doctor said, you have to move. And right. Smart doctor, smart yes. doctor. I love that. Smart. What's the last thing you wanna do when you're in pain? Oh, you don't move. wanna move. Right. Exactly, yeah. right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And he was very smart, a naturopath actually, who I thank till this day. Oh, wow. awesome. And so then I discovered Nia. Nia is a mind-body fitness practice and it's based on the way the body is intended to move. But everybody moves differently. We're all built mm -hmm. differently. And especially if someone has chronic pain in their body, it may be very, very difficult to move. So what we focus on is um, pleasure versus pain. Teresa, how do you get people to relax and to open up and to be uninhibited and to try it and to it allow. It takes time, okay. for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but in a class, for example, mm -hmm. or a one-on-one -on -one situation, um, I'll ask people to listen to their body. So maybe sense your ankles. Mm -hmm. You know, sense how your feet are feeling as you move. Sense your elbows. And that takes the onus off of thinking. Right, right. Mm -hmm. and the hesitation. Live, Love, Move mm -hmm. is the name of my business. Yes. and. It really follows the words and the ideas of living in one's body and being connected to your body, even in pain, mm -hmm. loving, having compassion for ourselves, and moving in a way that feels good to your body. Sounds like it's almost like therapy. So many people yeah. will say it's cheap therapy. Yeah. They'll come in <laughs> to a class and say, wow, you know, I moved, I released so much. Right. Hmm. Yeah, That's so it's, it's like therapy. Yeah, it is like therapy, moving that energy. And you do individual sessions as well as classes, right? I do have private clients, mm -hmm. um, very different ages, mm -hmm. and I do groups. I teach actually in senior centers also, oh, locally yeah. as well. And I hold online classes on Zoom. One thing that I just did last year for the first time, I ran a six-month program for women with chronic pain. That's wonderful. Based on these movement modalities and uh, addressing the physical, the emotional, the, the spirit part of us. Mm -hmm. That's great. I bet a lot of people get relief from doing that. Yeah, I've heard it. It really helped them to open up moving their body. They didn't know they could move it first oh. of all, okay. and then also thinking differently. Like pain doesn't have to be the end of my story. I have That's a life, right. I can do right. it. Absolutely. And to live with pain, I mean, do you teach that as well, kind of to live with pain? I do. Just yeah, keep that's moving, a but live with pain. Great yeah. question, because it doesn't take it away. Right. But as we're moving, the endorphins do kick in, and we mm -hmm. could feel better. But it's how do we live with pain and get off the pain loop? Right. Yeah. It offers incredible benefits to somebody who is feeling limited. Mm -hmm. Right. That's fantastic. Well, yeah. when, when your doctor said to you, go out and move, and you started your search to find this, what were the changes that happened in your body? First of all, I thought, there's no way. Oh. I can do this. Yeah. There, I can. I was in too much pain. And he said, what do you like to do? Mm. I said, dance. That was my oh, background okay. in dancing. And he was the one who told me about this Nia technique. Okay. And when I started to dance, I had this feeling of surrender. Like mm. all of this weight suddenly awesome. <laughs> left awesome. my body. That's great. Yeah. 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 You connected to your passion. I did. How are you feeling yeah. now? Knock on wood, <laughs> I feel really good. You know, oh, I have awesome. my days up and yeah. down, but overall, a movement is key. I have to move every single day. Yeah. So, so I'll tell you, when we work with the seniors, we have seniors um, that will start in a chair, and that may be all they can do, right? They could, they're in a, in a basic class, they're lifting a foot and they're trying, and then eventually they're standing up for class, and it is mm -hmm. such a tremendous success. And so I understand that you have classes that you actually work with people in sitting 
right? Starting. I do. I do. Um, there's a beautiful modality I teach seniors, especially. Mm-hmm. It's called Ageless Grace. Oh, I love that. It's That's playful, mm-hmm. but it's also um, based on neuroplasticity. So mm-hmm. it's helping the brain and body really connect, and they can do it in the chair. They can do as little or as much as they want to. It's amazing that they yeah. can start by sitting in a chair and, and evolve. And I'm sure she's to... seeing the progressions also. Yeah. Right. right. You're seeing the changes with people. It's so amazing. And people who might feel shy or inhibited, suddenly they're right. breathing yeah. out loud oh, and they're, awesome. you know, expressing yeah. themselves. Yeah, really yeah. All right, so we're going to have the demo with Teresa right now. And I'm sitting because I'm gonna to try to follow along as best I can, um, just to show that you can do this from a chair if you have limited mobility. And hopefully you'll be dancing with us. This is a piece from the Nia Technique, and Nia includes dance, martial arts, and healing arts like yoga. But we're gonna do mostly a dance movement today and using the imagination to stimulate. Okay, great. Are you ready? There we go. Let's take a breath. And bring your hands up and down. We're gonna open to the side a little, a little more. Yes, mm. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Other side. <laughs> and then let's come back. <sighs> Breathe it up again. <sighs> Exhale. Up next, we'll be chatting with Conchetta, so don't go away. I'd like to invite you to my new show that I wrote at the request of my late daddy. It's called Hoodwinked from Heaven. Now, daddy always wanted me to be a country singer, but I fell in love with Mozart when I was 15 years old and I never looked back. Until my daddy got Alzheimer's and he asked me to write some country and pop songs that he could listen to before he moved on to heaven. Now, little did I know my daddy knew exactly what he was doing to get me back to singing in a pair of cowboy boots. Do you suffer from headaches, stiff, sore joints, digestive disorders, recurring infections, emotional stress, or sleepless nights? Try Enzyme Nutrition. It's scientific, personalized, and has no side effects. Visit Susan Richter, RN, at nextlevelhealing.com. Read her reviews or reach out directly at 973-586-0626 to learn more. When I met Conchetta years ago, she told me your loved ones are always standing by to help you. All you need to do is ask. And she actually refers to this as air. And it is something I have never forgotten. So thank you. (laughs) I use it literally probably every day, multiple times a day. That's fabulous. Yeah. So tell everybody what you told me. Absolutely, honey. When you think of your relatives or folks you've loved and lost, think of them as in the air you breathe. And if you spell air, A-I-R, it stands for always in reach. Right. They're not up in the skies, and they're certainly not in the ground. They're right here next to us at all times. Mm. That's how close they are. Wow. And it's a wonderful feeling, you know, just to know. And I always tell people, you don't need me. They hear you. They're right here in the air you breathe. Right. They know everything you're thinking, you're feeling. And the one thing that I... I do know is that when we die, we are given a choice almost instantaneously uh, to choose God or turn your back on God. Mm -hmm. And once you choose God, you become one with the Spirit of God when you pass. And that's the golden ticket, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) That really is. I have seen you say this at your at different events and you, I can just see people sort of exhale and say, oh, okay, they're always in reach. I can, they're right. always there. They're always there that I can, and I can talk to them. And it's so right. good that you do that because you give, uh, once again, give the people well, it's uh, hope. It's some right. hope and Absolutely. peace. And it's just so simple and so mm-hmm. easy. And if, and if everybody knew that, they'd be, they would be rejoicing. They right. would be happy. Right. right, right. So everybody out there, remember air, always in reach. So if you have something simple you want to ask for or something complicated, you know, go ahead and ask. They're right there standing by to help you or just lend a hand in whatever way they can, right? (laughs) Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week when we chat with Conchetta. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. See you next week on Balance Your Life.